Hello guys, CodeMaker4 here. In this video I'll be explaining how you can add two binary numbers together, and we'll also be making a magic circuit to do that. So just like in the last video where I explained uh, how to easily convert binary numbers to decimal numbers on the back, we'll be starting with a example with decimal numbers, like this one here. So you might have learned to add two numbers together by simply doing a bunch of smaller additions, like 1 plus 2 equals 3. And if you want to do the next one, you simply add those together. So 4 plus 1 is 5, and you write that. If there is a number that adds up to more than 9, uh, like 8, 3 plus 8, which is 11, you write down the first digit there, and then the second digit over there. At last, you simply uh, add the last numbers together. Um, so 1 plus 6 plus 8 is uh, 15. So write down a 5 there, a 1 here, and 1 plus nothing is 1. So the answer is 15,153. So we'll be remembering this, because with binary it's very simpler. Let's say you want to add this number and this number together. So you'd first add the two zeros together, which basically results in a zero. 1 plus 1 is 2. Of course, we don't have 2's in binary, so the binary value of 2 is 1, 0. So you'll be writing down uh, here a 0 and a 1 over there. Next, the same thing happens because 1 plus 0 plus 1 is also 2, which we cannot, which we cannot write down. So we place the 1 over here. Next, we have uh, three ones added together. We, of course, also don't have a 3 in binary. So to write that down, simply you have 1, 1. So we add a 1 here and a 1 there. Again, there's nothing here. 1 plus nothing is 1. So the answer is 11000. So what the heck did we do here? We added these numbers together to get binary numbers. So next, added the last part of that binary number back into the equation. These numbers up here are called the carry uh, numbers because this equation here couldn't uh, resolve completely. So it carried the some numbers over next equation. So if we were to add some zeros uh, everywhere, you see that basically everywhere we are adding three numbers together and uh, based on having the result be a two-bit number, the first bit being over here, the second bit being over there. So basically we are just adding the first number, the second number and the carry of the last one together to get a, a two-bit number. So we always have three one-bit numbers as inputs and always a two-bit answer. That's very consistent. We can easily make a repeating logic circuit out of that. So let's see what the logic circuit needs to do. Is It has, it has three uh, one-bit inputs and it has uh, one two-bit output. So let's go over each case of the three inputs and see what the output must be. So it doesn't really matter where ones are. You can simply switch around these ones until it's still the same. So if there are zero ones, the sum of that number is also going to be zero. So if there's one one, that sounds very weird, um, the sum is of course going to be zero one. It represents a binary one. If there are two ones, the sum is going to be equal to uh, one zero, which is binary for two. And if there are three ones, the sum will be equal will be equal to one binary for three. So, of course, these two bits are completely separate. We can use completely different ways of knowing what they should be for each bit. So let's simplify this even more. So as you can see, if there's a odd number of ones, uh, the sum is going to be something with a one at the end, because the other cases it's a zero. And if there's more than or exactly two ones, the first digit of the sum, or the most left uh, bit of the sum, is going to be one. And of course, in the opposite cases, we know that there's a zero. So now that we have this information, we can use this statements to make a logic circuit for each of the bits. So there is a logic circuit that does exactly this. Turns out, looks a bit like this. Uh, it has A and B as inputs, and a carry in from the last that has been added together. And then it has a sum and a carry out, which is basically 
these numbers up here. So for this circuit here, the carry in is this bit, and the carry out is this one here. The sum is this here. So in the next episode, we'll be building this uh, circuit into script mechanic and uh, putting it into our computer so that we can make it add numbers together. Thank you for watching. Omega 4 here. Still don't have a proper outro. Oh, and of course, it's the uh, last day of 2018, so happy 2019, guys!